right? It's a, it's a great initiative on part of DP World to just go the distance and uh, start something that will essentially help kids that are growing up at the grassroots level. Uh, and that's where I think it's important for me to ask a few questions so that we can understand things better from Rizwan and of course from Ravi as well. Rizwan, if I can get to you first, what's the whole idea about Beyond Boundaries Initiative? So thanks, RK. First of all, a pleasure being here. Um, we are a global logistics company present in almost 80 countries in that sense, right? And Beyond Boundaries is really about taking cricket as well or helping to take cricket to these countries, right? Whatever we can actually do to promote the sport. Um, and also, it's not just about, uh, you know, giving the kids uh, to people who play good cricket and want to play good cricket, but also who need these kids, who are actually uh, don't have that privilege to... Uh, to own these kids and therefore play the game. So our, our job is to really make these kids reach this section of the population, budding cricketers uh, globally in that sense. Um, you know, there are 250 kits in each of these containers you see. Uh, you know, there are three containers that we're actually going to distribute uh, or have distributed in that sense. This is the third one. And we aim to actually distribute more than 50 containers uh, globally in that sense, right? So we have the World Cup now in the US next year. Uh, that's where we're going to be there. Um, the Women's um, the World Cup is actually in Bangladesh next year. So this is really about beyond boundaries, you know, that we actually help to take the game uh, to different countries globally where we are present and where we want to be present. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Arke. But would assume that you are a sports fanatic yourself, and therefore, when did this idea germinate, and how's been the World Cup so far? I mean, it's been great for India, obviously, but how's it been for you? So, lovely. I mean, you know, cricket is, is, uh, has a huge, huge fan base here in India. And for us to actually, uh, you know, help promote the sport, uh, we also essentially get linked to the sport in, 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 in more ways than one. And Ravi and I were just uh, talking, you know, just before we came here. And there are so many ways to, to help and promote the sport. I mean, through coaching initiatives, coach the coach initiative, uh, the idea is to essentially do whatever it takes as an enterprise to make sure that cricket goes beyond the boundaries, essentially, uh, that we know these boundaries to be. So how do you actually go really boundless, uh, you know, and, and promote the sport globally? And, and, you know, there's such a huge fan base here in India. Uh, how do you kind of make sure that you, you know, grow this fan base exponentially globally as well? So that's really what we want to do. And, and some of these initiatives that we're taking, uh, where we give these kids to, to people who really need it, budding cricketers, youngsters who actually need it, uh, we hope and we pray and we'll do what it takes to make sure that, you know, cricket goes beyond boundaries. Looking as relaxed as ever is Ravi Shastri. I'm sure India is hopefully relaxed. Big game coming up this weekend. Very big. I think uh, it will sustain cricket in India for many years. Just this kind of performance, what they've done. I think they'll be relaxed. They're playing at home. It's a very experienced side. And they don't need to do anything different. You know, the way they played, they carry on uh, from where they left in the last game. They should be holding that cup very soon. I'm just looking at you, Ravi, and I'm also looking at all those faces who are intently looking at you and Rizwan there. I mean, just the whole idea of being a young kid, wanting that equipment, how massive is this initiative towards bringing a smile on their faces? Yeah, you can see the smile already mm -hmm. when they took the kit and went because, uh, you know, as a young kid growing up, that's the first thing I'll be looking for. You know, when can I get a new bat? When can I get a pair of gloves? When can I get a helmet? Pads on, they'll go back home. They'll try out everything, they'll stand in front of the mirror, they'll hold that bat, play a few shots, and it'll carry on right through the day for the next few days. So it's something you, you dream of, something you want, and it uh, you know, just makes you feel better. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Ravi. I think you, you took to what, serious cricket around 13, 14, around that point in time, when you were with Don Bosco and then, of course, later with Fodar. Uh, remember getting that first bat? Remember yes, that? I just mentioned it earlier, it came from a fisherman. Mm. You know, my dad's patient. My dad was a doctor. He did his medicine here in Chennai. Oh. Passed out of uh, Madras Medical College. And uh, so his patient, this fisherman, got it on his boat. You know, one yeah. of his uh, fishing expeditions. He was coming yeah. from Dubai. Someone gave it to him there and he got a Grainicles bat for me. And wow. I played with that bat for two years. I played for Mumbai and I played for India. That bat was still going strong. Wow, wow. But for the guys who, who probably would not know or might not remember, understandably, because I think Ravi Shastri just ensured that his school, as a youngster, he, he was a captain, 
that school Don Bosco won the Jail Shield, what, in 1977? 77, yes. 77, yeah. I mean, just a fantastic captain, a fantastic coach, and a fantastic cricketer, Ravi Shastri. This one, is it, is it only natural that DP World is started something like this? Because, I mean, your expertise primarily is in supply chain management, isn't it? I mean, if, if we give you something, you ensure that it reaches the person on time. That's your expertise. And therefore, at a very macro level, was it almost a no-brainer? Absolutely, RK. So this is what logistics does, right? And a good logistics company, a great logistics company that we aspire to be, uh, is essentially to make sure that the goods reach from A to B as promised, both with certainty, but also in terms of the quality of, of, of service that we actually offer. Uh, so this is very akin, these 50 containers, these kits, I mean, 250 kits in a container, you know, 50 containers globally. Uh, this is actually a, a kind of a reflection of what we do to kind of make sure that these kits actually reach where it's needed, um, you know, where, where it will be appreciated, where it will be used. Uh, this is our way of giving back to the community as well. This is our way of actually helping the sport become even more popular. Uh, both in India, but also globally in that sense. I mean, who heard of the World Cup being played in the U.S.? Yeah. Uh, you know, one would have not imagined, right? So, so these are beyond boundary initiatives, literally, right? And, and, and what, what we as a company want to do is to make sure that we support and do a bit to ensure that the game gets the required, uh, you know, resources, the game gets the required logistics support per se, and we make sure that these kids actually get delivered where they need to be. You know, my, my respect for DP World has gone even higher. You know, it's one thing sponsoring big events. It's another thing taking it to grassroots yeah. level. You know, because they're the stars, they're the future. You know, that's where you get your next Shami or Bumra or Virat or, you know, Tendulkar from. So, it, I think it's, it's fantastic. You know, it, the smiles that will be on their faces will be, you know, it will be there for a long, long time. And just to give them that opportunity. Not many get the opportunity, sure. you know, in India. It's a vast country. Only 11 can play, and we have a population of 1.4 billion. So, you know, to play for your country, it's massive, but then you must get that opportunity, early doors. Mm. It's interesting that, you, sorry, go on. No, I mean, just to take off from where we left, right? I mean, with this initiative, we just hope there are other companies that can also come forth and actually support some of these initiatives, right? And we would love to share the stage with them and kind of, you know, play that role, that catalyst role in actually giving back and ensuring that we reach this 1.4 billion people, yeah. right? Not just here in India, but also beyond, per se, right? So, so it's our way of actually, I mean, just like the way we won, I mean, we will win the World Cup. I mean, that's what Ravi and I were talking, that, you know, there's a huge certainty that we'll win the World Cup. This win will actually inspire so many more children, so many more youngsters to actually take up the sport, per se. So many more companies to come forth and actually contribute to the game, per se, right? So, so just like, you know, the win kind of inspires more, we hope that this giving back also inspires a lot more companies to come forth. And a lot of girls there who took the kids. Yeah. You know, focus. Girls, because you're not far away. India is going to win a Women's World Cup, and then you see how sport will take off amongst women in India. No, it's interesting that you mentioned that, Ravi, because I think uh, uh, post one of the games, Shreya Sayer was mentioning on something on similar lines. He was talking about the fact that when India won the 2011 World Cup, I mean, who can forget? Mind the Singh Dhoni hitting a six. You were there, behind the microphone then. Uh, so when, when India won the World Cup, he said he was at the North Stand as a young kid watching a game. And he apparently said or told one of his friends that I want to be there winning a World Cup for India at some point in time. So I think, I think the kids here are just looking at the likes of... They, they, they begin to believe, isn't it? Because this one made a great point about you know, the other companies probably getting together. The belief probably started, we were talking backstage, about the 1983 World Cup, isn't it? When you speak about the women's team winning the World Cup or will win the World Cup, the belief always starts with that first trophy, doesn't it? First is the biggest. Yeah. Because that then uh, really, you know, encourages a lot of youngsters to emulate that gang and, uh, you know, go places. See, a lot of these players might have just been born around that time, who are playing in the World Cup final just around that time they would have been born. And uh, they will remember that 83 win. But they'll remember that 2011 one as well. Yeah. You know, that's when they would have started playing cricket. And they would have been saying, like Shreya said, you know, I want to go on and play for the country as well. Mm, it's, it's huge. It's huge. I mean, so it's, it started in Mumbai. And we went to Ahmedabad. 
and Chennai has been at number three. Isn't that just, just the beginning of uh, many more good things to come from DP World? Absolutely, absolutely. And there's 47 more that will actually reach many global uh, locations uh, in that sense, including uh, Joburg, where we actually have the naming rights to the Wanderer Stadium. Uh, and there are several, several more. The US, uh, you know, where the next World Cup will be actually. Uh, so this is just the start of, of, of many more containers to actually be delivered. Uh, and this is, I mean, the kind of reaction that we're actually getting from this initiative, right? I mean, it just inspires and enthuses us even more, yeah. to do even more for the game. And, and, you know, Ravi and I were talking about the sidelines. We will now continually look for opportunities to ensure that we continue to support this game, to do what we, what we can uh, to make sure that this game actually goes beyond boundaries, yeah? It, it, it's interesting, isn't it? At, at some level, yeah, we, we marvel at the fact that you're going to have a World Cup in the U.S., but I think born and brought up in Chennai, at some point in time, you look back and say, hang on a minute, the World Cup should have happened in the U.S. a long time back, because half of our boys are already in the Silicon Valley. It's pretty much India out there. And uh, if you look at their major league teams, half yeah. of them are owned by Indians. Yeah. You know, most of them. And all the big boys, you know, from the Silicon Valley, they've yeah. got involved themselves. And it's a matter of time, because... You know, I, when I was the coach of India, I would tell the boys, I said, every game is a home game for us. Because yeah. when you go to Australia, when you go to England, the ground is filled with blue shirts. Yeah. You know, even overseas. You know, 70% of the stadium is filled with Indians. And they travel the length and breadth of the world. You know, from United States, from Australia. You know, they'll travel across the globe to watch India play. And, you know, the same thing's going to happen. On Sunday, they'll all be there in Ahmedabad. Yeah, absolutely. And I think while, while I was just coming down to this event, I was just looking at how much people are expecting out of this Indian team because it's a, it's a perfect 10. You're hoping for an absolutely brilliant 11 for India. But I think people, one thing we should realize that every time a Mohammed Shami bowls an excellent spell, which is pretty much every spell of his, uh, every time Bumrah comes in and does his job, I think a huge credit needs to go to Ravi Shastri and Virat Kohli and Bharat Arun. And I mean, that, that bat was instrumental in making sure that we had that potent unit. I think, I think the minute Shami wakes up, you'll be able to judge how well he's going to bowl, isn't it? That's how you know him. I just see him run in yeah. that first ball. If he's sprinting in, good luck to the batters. Because, you know, that seam presentation, you know, the way the ball lands, and what he's done extremely well in this World Cup is to consistently hit the right lengths. He's gone further up to the bat. That's why even on a track like in Mumbai the other night, where 720 runs were scored, he was nicking off batsmen, you know, with his skill. Because not many got the ball to see him around there. He got it to nip around and was getting the outside edges. So, and with Jaspreet bowling the way he is, not often you will see, I, I say this is the best Indian bowling attack, you know, ever in white ball cricket. And, uh, you know, when you look at the variety there and the skill sets there, it's, uh, it's amazing. Yeah. It just helps brands big time as well, isn't it? Because the awareness of cricketers. I mean, I think every one of them who's sitting there, say one would want to become a Virat Kohli, one would want to become a Rohit Sharma, one would want to become a Bumrah or a Shami growing up. Just the awareness, just the reception that you've received already in Mumbai, Ahmedabad and now in Chennai. And some hopefully will join DP World. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's an open recruitment process. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, so, so it's really about, I mean, you know, I mean, when we talk about scholarships and we talk about, you know, helping young kids, right? It's not just about cricket. It's not just about education. It's about uh, uh, a mixture of both, right? So how do we make sure that we have uh, the right education? I mean, the right formal education that we can actually impart uh, and, and play a role in doing so, but also in terms of actually the sport itself, right? Because, you know, it, it's a combination yeah. that, that actually helps, yeah. right? Uh, and that's an opportunity for us to actually reach, you know, multitude uh, of youngsters. Uh, who actually are aware of DP World, who are aware of what logistics can actually do, you know, to kind of enable trade to happen, uh, to actually make sure that these containers actually, you know, are, are, are delivered as promised in that sense. Um, and, and, and of course, you know, some would actually like to pursue a career in cricket. And, and therefore, you know, this is the foundation uh, that we actually are helping to provide. Mm. I mean, great point made by this one, because, I mean, at the end of the day, you look at cricketers, but it's also about the grooming around them, isn't it? How far India has come over a period of time. Absolutely. And it's, a, it's, it's healthy. Yeah. It builds character. You know, a lot of qualities that go, go, go in, into playing the game and looking to achieve something. Mm. Even when it comes to playing an opponent, you know, respecting your opponent. You know, little, little things that can go a long way in life. You don't have to play for India. You don't have to play for your state. But those qualities that you will learn from playing the game at a young age, 
will stand you in good stead in whatever you do in life. In whatever field you get into, it will stand you in good stead. Rizwan, first to you. Uh, would you want to just look at the kids and then send them a lovely message from DB World? So, sorry, I didn't get the question. If you want to send across a message to all those yeah. young kids from DB World. Yeah. And you know, I remember, you know, as, as Ravi also was, was alluding to, right, I remember getting my, when I got my first bat and the joy that I had of actually, you know, having that bat in my hand and playing the first ball with it. Uh, and you know, I mean, it comes with a lot of aspirations, it comes with a lot of ambitions, right? We all want to become a Ravi Shastri, we all want to become a Sunil Gavaskar, a Virat Kohli in that sense, right? So, so here is an opportunity for you to realize your, your dreams and your ambitions in that sense. And it starts with holding the bat in your hand, it starts with the first step, right? So please, you know, do what it takes to actually become what you want to become in that sense, right? Don't leave any stone unturned. Uh, don't actually be, uh, you know, discouraged by, by remarks around you, by difficulties around you, because the resources will come. But it comes with the will that you have by holding that bat in that sense, right? So all the very best, and we wish this kid goes a long way in making you realize your ambitions. Ravi, Slightly long you... message, but... Uh... Ravi, I know you picked the winner for the weekend, but if you want to just look at the kids there, we're just waiting for you to speak to them about a message that you might want to pass across. Well, all I'll tell you, you should enjoy this kit you've got. It's, uh, you know, it's something that not many people... Uh, have the opportunity to get. Remember one thing, when you play this game, there's no shortcut to success. You know, so it will take time. You will not perform every day. Then you will, uh, you will fail at times. But you must learn. You must not be scared of failure. You know, because if you learn how to fail, you know, if you don't know how to fail, then you'll fail how to learn. Okay, so it's very important that you remember that and strive hard. No shortcut. Be determined and do your work every day. Probably just about the right time to say a big thank you to everybody. Thank you so much, Ravi Shastri. Thank you so much to Mr. Rizman exactly. Kumar as well. Lovely, lovely, ladies and gentlemen, for having you with us. Uh, Ravi Shastri will be available for a group bite in front of the container. Just a quick one. So. My friends from the media, depends on how you want to place your cameras and therefore the microphones as well. Yeah, I think yeah, I think yeah. Udana kudan say the kala IF Tamil Bill Icon click say